no one calls me Asian even though I am from Asia. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you my maze TBR. I am once again participating in two readathons and my TBR consists of the books I'm gonna read for those two readathons. There are a lot of readathons going on in the month of May but I have chosen two of them because they were very interesting and I wanted to try them out. One of them is the Asian readathon for which you have to read books by Asian authors and the other one is the Hunger Games readathon. The Asian readathon is happening for the second time already and the Hunger Games readathon is fairly new so I am very excited to support the maker and participate as well. As I am mixing my TBR for both of the readathons I am gonna show you the books for the bigger readathon which is the Hunger Games readathon and then I'm gonna show you which books are for my Asian readathon from my Hunger Games readathon TBR so I hope that makes sense but let's get started. The Hunger Games readathon is hosted by the lovely Sabi from from Sabi Says Read, which I had the pleasure to meet a few days ago. So if you don't know her, just check out her channel. I will link her down below. For this readathon you have 12 prompts, but you don't have to do all of the prompts. But the more books you read, the more scores you get. So the more you read, the better. And I already have 12 books planned for all of the prompts and I am very excited to share them with you. You can download a list with all the prompts and a space for the book you can write down. So I already printed out mine and all the books are written here so I don't have to search for everything because I am very forgetful, so yeah. As it is a Hunger Games readathon, all the prompts are inspired by Hunger Games, and I never read the books, but maybe I will, as in German there is going to be a new edition coming out soon, so maybe I am gonna get them one day, maybe this year but I have watched all the movies and I loved them. I am very excited to know if the new book that is coming out will be also turned into a movie. That would be very awesome. So the first prompt is adding your name multiple times to receive Tesserae. And for this prompt you have to read a book that is part of a series. As you may know from my April's TBR, I read two books of a German series which is called Green Chronicles. Obviously it is in German, but I am making it in English, but it is not translated, so that is a shame. But I am gonna continue with that series and I am gonna read the ninth book in this series. This series is a Snow White retelling and many other characters from the Grimm fairy tales are also in it. So it is very, very good and I highly recommend reading it if you can read in German and you haven't already. The second prompt is repeating may the odds be ever in your favor. And for this prompt you have to read the book from your TBR that comes to your mind first. And for that I am gonna read Scarlet by Marisa Meyer. I started the Lunar Chronicles last month for the Owls Readathon and I fell in love with it and I want to continue with it. And yeah, this is probably the first book I wanted to read after the Owls. So yeah, Scarlet from Marissa Meyer. The third prompt is volunteering. So as Katniss Everdeen says, I volunteer as a tribute. And for this prompt, you have to read a book that you are intimidated by. And for this prompt, I chose Little Fires Everywhere. And I am gonna read it in German. And in German, it is called... Kleine Feuer überall. I still don't have the book but it hopefully arrives next week so I am gonna insert a picture of the cover here so you can see it and why it intimidates me is that I'm not really a contemporary reader so I am very picky with my reads from this genre 
So I think that intimidates me a bit and I thought it would be a good read for this prompt. The fourth prompt is the opening ceremony where Katniss is wearing her fire dress and it is called Katniss the girl who was on fire and for this prompt you have to read a book with an orangey or red cover or a book that has fire in the title. And for this prompt I chose The Children of the Whales I am gonna buddy read it with Sasha again. It was really fun talking about it with her, so we want to continue with the series. And you see there are a lot of red spots on this book, red orangey. And I think it is the best book that will suit my TBR for this readathon. The fifth prompt is the outfit. And it is again inspired by Katniss and it is, I think, a quote in the books and not in the movies. And it says naked and covered in black dust. And for this prompt you have to read a book that has a black cover under the dust jacket. Or if you are reading a paperback or if you don't have any hard covers with a black cover under the dust jacket, just read a book with a black cover. And for this prompt I am reading another Grimm Chronicles book which has a black cover and it is black all over it with a little bit of blue so I think that counts. It is the 10th book in this series and as I said a Snow White retelling so I don't have to say more. If you are a German speaker just start with this series. I can't say enough how awesome this series is. The sixth prompt is Training Center and it is where all of the Hunger Games participants are training and for this prompt you have to read a book only on one spot. So if you are in your bedroom or in the living room or on a set and chair wherever you want but you have to read this book only on this place and for that what a surprise I'm gonna read another Grimm Chronicles book this is the 11th book and I am gonna promise you this is the last one I am gonna put in my TBR for this month and yeah I don't think I have to say more the next prompt which is the seventh one is partnering up or train separately did I actually get a pair of fighters this year and for this prompt you have to read a book that has two characters that are partnering up to do something together and for this prompt I am continuing with the Lunar Chronicles series, the third book, which is Quest. I read the synopsis and it says that Cinder and the Doctor are partnering up to do something. So I think that counts and I don't want to spoil anything. I myself have only read the first book so I don't want to spoil myself either. But this is the only thing I saw directly as I read the synopsis and I think this is going to be a perfect read for this prompt. The next prompt is show your strength from beginning or hold back. And for this prompt you have to read an underrated book. And for this one I chose Funny in Farsi. This is a Persian book by an Iranian author. This is the Persian edition but I already ordered myself an English one. I read this one in Persian and it is going to be a reread for me in English and why it is underrated is that because I haven't seen any recommendations videos about this book and it is actually an amazing book as I remember it. So if you haven't read I will insert the English cover here so you can check it out. It is about a woman or a girl who moves to USA or Canada, I'm not sure. And it is about her life and how she copes with the changes and what she knows and what she has to learn. And in German it is called Atre Sombol, Atre Kaj, and it means the scent of the hyacinth and the scent of the Christmas tree. So in Persian New Year we always have these flowers, hyacinth I think, I'm not sure if 
I am pronouncing them correctly, but I will write them down here. And the opposite is, of course, the Christmas tree. So it is like, which celebration is actually mine? So, so it is like a mental battle, I think, in mind that you cannot really understand what you are when you move somewhere and and who you should be. So I think this is gonna be a great read and if you don't know about this book I think it is a great read for you as well. The next prompt is skill training. We are learning archery, spare throwing and weightlifting and for this prompt you have to read a book that has fighting in it. And for this prompt I am gonna read a manga called Kinder des Fegerfeuers. This series is not translated into English as far as I know, but if you're Japanese, search for this series. It is very cool and I am really liking it. This is the 10th book in the series and the next manga are still publishing so this is an ongoing series currently and I cannot wait to read the next book. The next prompt is interviewing training 100 banal phrases staring with a smile. By lunch the muscles in my cheeks are twitching from overuse. <laughs> This is very long. But for this prompt you have to read a book that makes you happy. And for it I am gonna read The Girl from the Other Side. This is the third book in this manga series. The story itself is not really happy. It is more of a sad story. But the way it is written makes me always smile because the girl is just one of the sweetest. And I think that fits the prompt perfectly. That wasn't me, that was the book. A book fart. The eleventh prompt is content training with Hamish. And for this prompt you have to read a book with a strong character lead. And for it I'm gonna continue once again with the Lunar Chronicles. This is the fourth and the last book in this series. And I think that explains itself because Winter, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, all of these people I think are strong female characters and I think this would fit this prompt perfectly. And last but not least, the last prompt is Caesar Flickerman, same hairstyle, he dyes a different color for each Hunger Games. And for this prompt, this is a very funny prompt, you have to read a book that has the same color on the cover as your hair. So my hair is brown and I am gonna read a book with a brown cover which is The Legend of Zelda manga. This is the fifth book in the Perfect Edition series and yeah, it has a brown cover and I read the fourth book for the owls and I want to continue with this series. So this is gonna be my last book for the last prompt. For the Hunger Games Readathon you get one score for each book you read. You don't have to read in the order. You can choose the first, the fifth, the seventh and the twelfth prompt and then you get one score for each prompt you succeed. And then you have like this paper where you can check mark every book you read and then you can see what score you have already and I hope I can get all of them because these books are the perfect read for me. I think I am gonna enjoy my May's TBR more than my April's to be honest because every book on this TBR is exactly what I want to read right now. So I am very positive about this readathon. And let's continue with the Asian readathon. As you can see I am wearing my a bit Asian inspired shirt. It is a velvety one. I love velvety t-shirts and it has flowers and I think that looks a bit Asian. Me myself am Iranian and Iran is an Asian country but no one calls me Asian even though I am from Asia but I don't understand why. 
So yeah, the Asian Readathon is hosted by Cindy over at Read with Cindy. I will link her down below as well and her announcement video. This Readathon is taking place for the second time. I think the last time was last year and it is happening for the second time this year. And I didn't know anything about this readathon. I saw it on Sasha's readathon recommendations. And thank you for that because it is a really cool readathon. And I am very happy that this readathon exists because you get to know a lot of authors that you don't usually read of. And that is a really good thing. So, as I said, I am mixing my TBR for both of these readathons. So, all of the books I am gonna read for the Asian readathon I have already mentioned, but I haven't said for which prompts I am gonna read them. So, I will repeat the books and tell you for which prompt they are for. You have five prompts for the Asian readathon, and the fifth one is optional. But as the book itself is on my TBR already, I will probably read it as well. The first prompt is to just read a book by an Asian author. And for that, I'm gonna read The Legend of Zelda. As I said, it is the fifth book in the Perfect Edition series. And it is by a Japanese author and illustrator. So this will be my first book by an Asian author. The second prompt is to read a book with a character or an author that you relate to. And for that, I am gonna read Funny in Farsi. There are two things that I can relate to. First, the author is Iranian and I am Iranian myself. And the second thing I can relate to is that the character in this book moved to another country, which I also did 11 years ago. If you haven't watched my international tag, I will link it down below so you can check it out, where I talk about this subject a bit more. So yeah, this is gonna be another book by an Asian author, and this time it is a more Western Asian author. The third prompt is to read a book with a character or the author that is different from me. And for this prompt I am gonna read Scarlet or Cress or Winter um, because there are Chinese people in these books and I'm not Chinese and they are different from me. So I think that is okay. Like Prince Kai, he is Chinese and I'm not. And I'm not even a queen so I think that is different enough. The fourth prompt is an Asian book recommended by an Asian friend. There are a lot of possibilities. You can find a book, you can watch a recommendations video, or you can just ask a friend to recommend you a book, or you can set a TBR and make your friends choose one of the books, and that is what I did. And I have three books from which I am gonna choose one depending on my mood because all of them are chunky books so I have to see what I want to read in that moment. And the first one is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I got this in a feral loot box and it is a really pretty one but I am not sure if I am interested in this story but a lot of people loved it and I may give it a try. The next book is Wicked As You Wish by Rin Chupeko. I have no idea. And this is a Chinese Filipino book. And I think it says The Snow Queen. I may like it, but I have no idea as well. And the third book which I may read is Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha. I don't know how you pronounce it. I read the first book in, I think, last year. I really liked it, but only the second half of the book. The first half was very difficult for me because the writing was very difficult. And I started to enjoy this book when I was almost in the middle. So the second half of the book was really interesting and cool. And I got the second book and I want to continue with this series somehow. And this would be my first choice to read, but I will just see which of these... I will just see which of these three books is gonna end up for the fourth prompt of this readathon. And last but not least, the fifth prompt is 
a read-along. It is optional, you don't have to read this book, but as it is on my TBR for the Hunger Games readathon, I will probably read it as well. And it is Litter Fires Everywhere. As I said, I'm gonna read it in German, which is called Kleine Feuer überall. I will insert a cover here so you can check it out. And yeah, this is gonna be the last book for my Maze TBR. These are a lot of books to read and I really hope that I can manage to read all of these because all of these books are high on top of my TBR so I really want to get to them and just wish me luck and I wish you luck as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed another TBR video from me. It is very fun to do these videos because I can show you all the books I really like to read and want to read. And if you know one of these books, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you have read any of those, comment as well and tell me if you like them or not. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It always makes my day and makes me so happy. I hope you are all doing well and are staying safe. And until next time, bye!